Hi, all the signs of the zodiac. I'm Pam, and welcome to your mid month psychic tarot update for December 2020. This month, I'm using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings. And to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because those messages may resonate more for you at some points than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, it's wise and advised to check out your cusp sign because sometimes your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So all that being said, now on to your mid-month psychic tarot update for December 2020. And I'm starting with the sign of Aries. Aries, you have a card that repeated among uh, four signs, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, and Pisces all got this card for the mid-month. And you got it here too, the Hermit. This is uh, your spirit guides lighting the way, showing you the path to go, giving you guidance and, and inspiration and protection in some cases. You could also be the Hermit taking a step back, getting a lay of the land before you proceed forward. It's like... I feel like you're coming to a point, Aries, where you have to think long and hard about what you want to do with your life, what direction you want it to go in, what people you want in your life, what kind of career you want, like just whatever life direction means to you. You may have felt like you've had a lot of blocks or so many stumbling blocks or blocks to get things going. And this could have gone on for you know, 2020, but it could have even been going on prior to this year. And I see you taking things out and examining them one by one. Some of you, it's objects like, do I really need this anymore or do I not? And if you don't need it, you're going to sell it or discard it. But you could also be doing that with the way you do your banking, your investing, the people in your life, relationships, homes, that kind of, it's going to be different for all of you, but you may be picking up a lot of different things and examining it and deciding, do I keep this or do, do I get rid of it? And that, like I said, can apply from stuff to relationships to jobs. Some of you may have found out some information either this month or in uh, the month of November, because I get around the middle of the month, but it, it could have even been this month that you may have found a little disarming or disturbing to you. This could have put some kind of halt on your progress or made you stop and take a second look at some kind of endeavor you were linked into or, you know, the course that you were on. This is like a big theme for you. You know, the Hermit is a major arcana, not a minor arcana card. So it's rather interesting for it to come up so much in this month of December for so many signs. You may have felt like you've done everything that you could to work with certain people in your life, but you may have found them very stubborn, controlling, or difficult to deal with. Now, the second card you have is the Five of Rods, and this is an internal struggle going on in you, or it could be struggles with coworkers, family members, uh, friends or groups. And this is a repeated card, and you and Libra got it in middle of December. You may have been feeling in this middle of this month like you're being put upon by others or a particular person where... Uh, or it could be the world, clubs, groups, organizations, or things going on out, out in the world where I get, you feel like things are getting imposed on you and you don't like it. Controlling situations. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. Could be what's going on, but it could be something with uh, some individual you have a connection with. You may feel like you want to stay put or you want to stay grounded in some way. But it's like forces beyond your control or, and, or individuals are trying to force you to change or change something that you're doing. They either want you to change your personality and yourself, or they're trying to get you to change something about your life or something you're doing. And, and you're 
struggling against this because you may like the status quo or uh, maybe you're okay with change, but you just might not like that you're getting like some kind of will being imposed upon you. The hermit is indicating here that you you have to discontinue something that you're doing because you can't keep this afloat. What is it you can't keep afloat? Is it overwork? You're being overworked or a relationship is too difficult or too taxing for you and too demanding and the other person is too controlling or is it in some other area? Because I get, I'm hearing that the, the hermit, your spirit guide is trying to say to you, you know, you can't keep doing this, whatever this is for you. And uh, it's too difficult to keep afloat. And, you know, in some cases you've watched people steal your thunder or take credit for your work or steal your ideas. Some of you have been experiencing that and that's causing an internal struggle in you or you are struggling with the people that did that. Some of you are going to go to some extent, some of you Aries, to get to the source of the problem, of the root, of the disruption, the negativity, the whatever, and ferret it out. So if you own a business or if there's some kind of situation you're in, a club, group, organization, family situation, whatever, there's like somebody that's like creating some negativity. You need to ferret that out and then they need to get fired or they need to move on or you have to part company with them. That comes up here quite a bit. So I hope these messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Taurus. The first of your two cards, Taurus, for this mid-month of December is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is standing your ground, drawing a line in the sand, standing up against any gossipers, naysayers, or detractors. If there's any battle or battle of wills, you're likely to win with the Five of Swords card. I get that you're tired of people putting silly demands on you, and I also hear you're tired of some kind of nonsense. So somewhere you feel like nonsensical stuff is going on. For some of you, it could be at your job. You may feel like people are finding busy work for you to do, or you're doing stuff that's just like makes absolutely no sense. It could even be coming from family members that are kind of like pulling your strings and making you feel like you're the marionette puppet in the situation and you're like over that and done with it. There's been a lot of manipulation and control issues going on. Um, and I get for some of you that you need to put your foot down and stake your claim to things that truly uh, belong to you. As I'm reading this, uh, Taurus, it just started snowing here. <laughs> I feel for some of you, you're finding out that some things were going on behind your back. It could have been at work. It could have been in a friendship situation or a family situation. It'll be different for all of you because it is a general reading, which is why you should always watch your rising sign. Uh, also, th it's like uh, somebody could have been like talking negative talk about you, bad mouthing you, throwing shade on you in some way to try to pump up what they're doing, make themselves look better. Maybe they want your job. Maybe they want to see you get fired. Maybe they want your, they're interested in your love partner and they're trying to like get your love partner away from you so they can move in on them. I mean, I don't know. It'll be different for all of you, but I feel like for some of you, it's going to surprise you or take you back. I don't feel like you totally expected it, but I feel like you've come to understand that this is something that's going on. Some of you may have legitimate cause for you to make some kind of complaint or claim. Uh, maybe there's somebody that uh, has done some illegal activity or, uh, you know, nefarious things that they should be sued or um, called out on what they've done. And for a lot of you, I do feel it has to do with I feel like work or family is the strongest two areas. You have the high priestess next. 
You could be the high priestess. This is uh, somebody who's very psychic and intuitive. This could also be your highest spirit guide coming in to give you a message. It could also be that something has been kept secret or hidden from you or by you. And like I said in this card, you very likely have had somebody that's been trying to uh, cast some doubt about you and maybe that's what you was hidden and now you found it out. Some of you are going to get intertwined with someone new, romantically speaking, or as a friend or as a work partner that is a lawyer. Or you could be filing a lawsuit. I feel like you're going to find out how much stuff has been taken away from you or taken advantage of you that's been in the shadows that you didn't know about. You could have had clients taken away from you, customers taken away from you. You could have... Uh, money that was in some account or savings or of some sort or even objects of value and somebody's come in and you know taken some of these things away from you in a personal sense but I feel that you are going to be made aware of it now some of you may have gotten made aware of it in October or November some of you you're going to find out now but you know psychic predictions it's you're all born on different time frames so some of you this has already happened and you're dealing with it now some of you you're finding out now and some of you it's coming up in the near future and you may want to <laughs> my guides are saying you may want to put that out there for all to see so if you've been done wrong some of you Tarses may you know broadcast that in some way like put it out on social media, put it out, write uh, emails to everybody about it, make some other kind of notification about it somewhere. Uh, but I do feel like wherever you felt like you've been stolen from, taken advantage of, manipulated, you're going to want p other people to know about it. And you may also have felt, Taurus, in recent times that you've had too much to do and almost been unfairly overburdened or just things have been unfair with the way things have been divided up, who gets what, who got promoted and maybe you didn't or who's getting all this business and they should have given you some of the business and you didn't get it. Like like unfair things are coming to light and you're going to contend with it. It's not like you're going to roll over and let them step on you and walk all over you. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Gemini. Gemini, it's nice to see you get some good cards here. You have the Ace of Rods. And the Ace of Rods is new beginnings. This could be a new job, a new love relationship, receiving an inheritance, a new start in life. It could be a birth of a child or a birth of some kind of new business or new endeavor. Finally, 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 Gemini, you're getting some kind of traction in what you're doing in the middle of December. You succeed in some way. There's some kind of successful achievement, especially on some kind of goal. Some goal that you were striving for, you have some kind of successful achievement here. And some of you Geminis are going to start to really blossom and bloom and become more well-known. If you're a public figure, uh, people are going to know you more. Or in your own field, your own career field, uh, or your own business that you have, or at a job or a company you work for, you're going to, it's like you're really blossoming at this and your name is becoming more known in your business circles. I see you doing a lot of accounting, uh, taking, uh, taking a lot of things into account, but also accounting comes up here. So some of you may be really going over a lot of your, uh, you know, IRAs, any other kinds of retirement funds, any stocks or bonds you're invested in, and any or anything to do with like 
having a budget, budgeting your money, what you, looking at where your money's going out, where your money's coming in. I feel some of you Geminis are really going to be spending some time in uh, December and especially January going over that. Some of you are getting a promotion or you're, reta or you're attaining a higher level of something that you've sought after. So if, let's say if you were wanted to be a Reiki master and you took Reiki one and two, you're gonna get Reiki master. If you went back to school and you were taking certain courses and classes and then you started to go for a degree, you're gonna get the degree. Attaining a higher level of something comes up here like something you want to attain of a higher level could be some personal uh, study or something you've been trying to achieve or starting a business. Now you have the 10 of rods with it. I'm sorry, two of rods with it. So the two of rods is partnership and business. It can be partnership and romance. It can also be something you're creating and putting out there into the world for people to like or not like. And this is with your Ace of Rods card. Some of you are instructing people and you're giving people a lot of knowledge and information. This could be within the job that you work. Maybe you're going to start putting together a new website for the company or an instruction manual or instructional videos. Or if you're a public figure, maybe you're going to start doing, uh, you know, live things online on different video platforms um, where, but there would be some kind of speaking, teaching, uh, educating, giving knowledge and information would be coming from you. Now, if you don't, if it could have happened for some of you in November, it could be happening this month. It could actually be happening in January or February this year because you're not all born at the same time, the same day, month, year. <laughs> you don't have the same birth chart. So timing's different for all of you. Some of you are really going to be creating something of value that the public is going to like. So if you thought of starting your own business or you already have your own business, you may start some kind of new product or service line that you're, or some kind of presentation you're going to make that the public is going to like. You may feel like you're starting over from the beginning in some way, but it's going to be, it's going to go great. It's going to be a great boost for you. So even if you feel like, oh man, I've got, I'm, you know, like maybe you left a company or a business you'd worked for, for a long time, but now you're starting your own business and you might feel like, oh my gosh, I got to start all over. But whatever you're starting or beginning is going to actually go really well, even though you may have trepidation at the beginning and feel like, oh, I, I, the feeling of having to start over it's going to actually be very successful for you. And in nine months time, you're going to be like, wow, that was the best decision I ever made. Some of you may be deciding to take a lot of things that you've learned and put it in some kind of format, like a blog, a vlog, a, a book, again, I like an instruction manual or something, or a textbook or some kind of online uh, book, an ebook, I guess they would call it. So you have some good things coming up here, Gemini. I'm glad to see you had some good cards. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Cancer. And the first card you have Cancer is the Temperance card, which is having to have patience. It could also be you're the alchemist where God and the universe is working through you in what you're doing, thinking, creating, or saying. So you could be the alchemist here. You may feel like your life has, everything has come to a standstill, like it had stalled. And yes, that many people may have felt that way because of what's been going on out in the world. It could be that but it could also be in your personal life where like things to do with your living situation, your love life, your job, whatever, your business, you may have felt like it was requiring a lot of patience on your part because you feel like something that had been rolling along has had stalled. 
And you may feel like, yes, it's I'm showing up, I'm doing what I'm expected of what's expected of me, same stuff, different day, and you're you're showing up and you're presenting yourself, but you may feel very disenchanted and feel like, what's the point? Uh, you may feel like you've had to deal with some letdowns recently, or could have been going on since. March 2020. And you may have felt like, man, I'm generally trying to make something happen for myself. I'm genuinely trying to get something cooking here. But the universe has had other plans and you have been stalled. But I do feel like you're going to have a breakthrough in that. And I feel for many of you cancers, your breakthrough is actually going to occur in January. Not so much in December, more January and February, although some of you could have that breakthrough this month. You may even want to hire somebody to help you push something along. Do you want a new job? Maybe you need to hire a headhunter or... Uh, Hire somebody to like an agent or somebody to like a PR person to help promote you and market your business or something you're doing. Because I feel like some of you cancers, not all of you, but some of you need to hire somebody to help uh, facilitate getting your name out there, your work out there, uh, finding the right fit for you in whatever it is. Maybe it's even you need a new place to live and you need to get a realtor out there looking for you for the perfect spot. Now, the card you have with it is the three of rods and the three of rods is waiting patiently for success to come in, letting go of something so success can come to you or being at the beginning stages of a successful business or endeavor. And look, so... That kind of makes sense because you could be waiting patiently for something to come to you. That's success. And there you had patience with the temperance card. You're, you're, some of you are going to travel. How's that going to happen? I don't know. But that's what I hear. You're going to travel and, and or some of you are going to be getting out of this rut. It is going to happen. Some of you are going to reconnect with people that you made connections with maybe a year, two, three years ago. You may reconnect with them and they could be the, the catalyst to bring in success to you. So keep that in mind. Some of you may be, and maybe that's the person you have to hire. Maybe they have a business where they do the kind of uh, you know promotion, marketing, or headhunting, or or agent, whatever you may have met them before, and you know them, but you would have to hire them for your their services, possibly. But some of you, there's somebody from the past that's a connection for you to be successful now and in your future. I feel like some of you cancers have really had to keep a lot of things quiet and under wraps and not let people know your thoughts, feelings, emotions, or what you are doing, what you were up to. Like, you know, maybe you didn't want your boss to know you were looking for another job. And uh, maybe you or you didn't want uh, people to know you were thinking about starting your own business and quitting a job that you've had for a really long time, like whatever it is. I feel like you kept your cards close to the vest. And keep in mind, this reading is not just for Cancer's sun. This can apply to Cancer rising and moon sign as well. Some of you, if you don't see any new developments in, uh, some of you will be seeing big developments in March and April if you don't see it before then where something, you get something, something develops and grows for you or something comes into you that you've been waiting for, like the perfect job or, or, you know, I don't know. But some of you travel will be involved for some of you. And breaking free and breaking out of a rut is clearly coming up here. And some of you, that rut gets broken in January. Some of you might not really see the full breadth of what I'm talking about until you get into March and April of 2021. 
So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Leo. Hey Leo, it looks like you wanted to show up in your reading for the mid-month of December. You have the King of Rods. This could be somebody else, but it's likely you. This is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. I feel like you've been feeling a little overburdened this month. And maybe even in the past couple of months, because I get Leo's feeling like stuff's piling up on them, piling up on them, piling up on them. Some of you Leos have been concerned about your health. You may have kept that to yourself. You may not have told everybody that, but I do see some of you having some concern about your health. Some of you, it may have had to do with your heart, but not all of you. Like maybe you had a uh, rapid heartbeat you know, like arrhythmia or a mitral, mitral valve prolapse or some other thing could have been kicking up for you that's not necessarily life-threatening but is making you concerned about your health. I feel like some of you Leos have taken on like too much or so much that you're worried that whether or not you can complete them or get it all done. Some of you are going to think about stopping eating certain things or drinking caffeine because I get, I hear the collective consciousness of Leo go, why did I eat that? Or why did I drink that? I also am seeing the word caffeine in my head. So that might be something you want to like pare down, not drink as much or be conscious of something you're eating that maybe isn't really that good for you or not making you feel well. I, I get this energy that Leo has resisted something that they have to give into. I feel some of you, Leos, that's connected to do with some kind of family obligation, expectation, and or pressure. I feel you'll give in and go along with it, but I honestly feel you're doing it begrudgingly. I don't feel like you're all into it. Now, whether you hide that begrudgedness or whether you let the family see it is going to be different for all of you Leos, which is why you should always watch your rising sign to get additional information. You may feel like too much of your life has gotten focused on money and work, money and work, money and work. It's, it may be too much money and work concerns, worries and all of that. Because I, I, I get this like overburdened feeling and I feel like that's what it's coming from. Now, look what you got with it. You have the Eight of Swords. That's being trapped in an emotional prison or trapped in a situation that you can't see how to get out of. Or there's things going on you just don't know all the information you need to know. There could be some things hidden out of your sight you can't see. So you have the King of Rods and the Eight of Swords. I feel like something's driving you crazy, like where you're like, oh, everybody's having fun and I'm stuck here working. Or everybody's life is moving on. My friend over here is getting married. My friend over there is doing this. My ex moved on and is doing this and that and they're having a grand old time and I'm stuck here doing this. Now you may like what you're doing, but if all you're doing is concentrating on money and work, money and work, or that's a big burden on you and that's what's consumed a lot of your time and energy, you may be feeling like, I'm trapped, I'm stuck, and look, all these other people are moving on or having a better time of life than you may feel like you're having. Even though I'm sure you're grateful for what's going on, I feel like you're, it's like, okay, my guides just said the words, Tower of Power. That's something from the 70s. That's like a 70s song or a group, I believe, Tower of Power. You are the Tower of Power. But because you're the Tower of Power, you attract a lot of activity, work, business, money, uh, things to do. But you like it. It's not that you don't like it, but I, it's coming up here to me. I mean, clearly with the Eight of Swords, you feel trapped by it in some ways. Changing your diet comes up here in my mind. Some of you may decide to give up gluten, meat, you may become vegan or you may give up sugar. Caffeine was something I definitely saw. 
Uh, so that is something coming up here in your reading. You may feel like you've taken on too much work and responsibility because you have a lot of people depending on you. If you're a boss, you may have a lot of employees and that's putting a, uh, if you do, if you're somebody that has uh, employees, that may be putting extra pressure on you at this time. I feel you're very concerned about not giving in, not wanting to give in or lose. Your, competi your competitive streak, Leo, is fired up uh, in December and in January, but it's because how much you've created, how much you've done, how much you've worked on, and how, mu how much you've succeeded, that even if you feel bound or trapped by it, your competitive streak is not the whole reason, but is part of the reason why I feel like you don't really want to give it up. Plus, you may feel responsible for other people. When I look at the swords in the Eight of Swords card, some of those Eight of Swords around you are responsibilities you have to other people. So something to think about. I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. Now on to the sign of Virgo. Hey Virgo, the first card you have is the King of Swords and this is an air sign person. This is either an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra, Sun, Moon or Rising sign. Could be you if you have a Rising sign or a Moon sign that is an air sign or if you're born on the Virgo Libra cusp. You may feel like everything boils down to them. It's what they want, their agenda. They could be kind of bossy, controlling. This could be your significant other. It could be a boss to you. I feel for some of you, it's somebody that is kind of getting on your nerves a little bit. Now, keep in mind when the people cards come up, they mean multiple people. It's not going to be one thing. I feel like they're like, you have to listen to me, Virgo. You have to take into what my opinions are and my, uh, what I feel, how I feel about things into account in what you're doing. So this is somebody that feels like you need to listen to them and you need to take in, into account their feelings on things with what decisions you're going to make and what you're doing. So for some of you, I feel this is your significant other. For some of you, this could be a boss. For some of you, it's somebody that's very close to you that feels like you have to kind of do things that they want you to do. You may feel like they're bugging you, nagging you, asking too much of you, or putting too much burden or pressure on you in December, or it could have happened in November, or it could be in January. They may be wanting you to change things for them or help them figure something out. So for some of you, this could be a parent that's like, I don't know how to use my new cell phone. Or can you hook up the, uh, this new piece of technology that I got and then show me how to work it because I don't know how to do it or something that they need help in. So for some of you, this could even be a parent. For some of you, this is a teacher could be a high spirit guide or a uh, mentor or a teacher that wants to give you knowledge and wisdom. So for some of you, this is somebody that's going to impart wisdom on you. And it's very funny, the card you have next that that just came up because you got the hermit next. I feel like your guides want you to tackle something and get it completely done over with and finished and out of the way and cleared out in December or at very early on in the new year because you've got some kind of new projects or new things that you're going to be tackling that are coming in. And for some of you, this is a spirit guide. But for you got to listen to this King of Swords again. So with it, you got the Hermit. Now the Hermit came up for four signs, Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, and Pisces. So the Hermit is uh, your highest, your, your guides giving you, uh, lighting the way, showing you the way to go, sometimes protecting you. You could be the hermit where you're taking a step back, getting a lay of the land before you proceed forward, but you're still going to be guided by your spirit guides. 
you may f have some things really trying your patience in December and January where you are having to take things apart and redo them. If you've done anything with electrical work, electricity, electrical work, or technology, or even could be holiday decorations, putting lights up on the outside of the house, putting lights up on a Christmas tree. It could even involve something like that. I get you having to having frustration that you have to take it down and you have to redo it for some of you. Some of you are gonna be considering taking classes on how to elevate something that you already know how to do. So you could be, you know, or or that would be helpful to you in a business that you work for or own. Because I feel like it's to enhance something that you already do or know about. This could be mandated by if you work for another company or a business, there could be laws and things that change that are now requiring like people at the level you're at may need to take classes because now they need additional training or certification to re read to reach the parameters of your job title or what your department or skill set is that, you know, new things could be being upgraded. It could be in the medical field. It could have to do with finance and finances. It could also have to do with technology or you're in a field where you have to get certified at this level, certified at this level, certified at this level. And so it could be being mandated to you by the government, by your uh, company you work for, it, it doesn't matter where it's coming from. But so you're going to be uh, edu getting further, furthering your education or training or getting additional certifications for something. So for some of you, the King of Swords could be who's teaching you because that is one of the things that did come up about the King of Swords. Could also be your one of your spirit guides. But you got to listen to the King of Swords again. So I hope these messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Libra. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. And the first card you have, Libra, is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is a water sign person. This is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. This could be you if you have a Rising sign or Moon sign that's a water sign, or if you're born on the Libra Scorpio cusp. I feel like there's going to be some kind of gathering that you're going to attend, and there seems to be some kind of commotion that's going on at this gathering. It may just be normal commotion, you know, like how people normally behave. It doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. This could be somebody or you or somebody in your life that's trying to break through some kind of barrier of some sort. They've been working towards some kind of goal or dream and they felt like they got stymied or blocked in some way. And they may, this water sign person may have really been trying to reinvent themselves. So like I said, if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, this could be you. But this could be somebody connected to you very strongly, like your significant other, a child to you, some other relative, a sibling. They may have been working overtime. They may have been trying to save money uh, to pay for college or pay for something expensive, costly. They're worked up. They're worked up and they feel like uh, they don't, they're not happy with the hand that they've gotten dealt. So they're struggling or feeling conflict, inner conflict, or some of you may help out this Knight of Cups. You may give them money or you give them advice or uh, 
give them a place to stay. I don't know, but some of you may be helping the Knight of Cups. This could also be somebody that wants you to change your mind and switch. Like maybe if you belong to some certain club, group, organization, political party, whatever, they may be trying to get you to switch to a different club, group, organization, political party, job. Like they may be trying to get you to change your mind. So people cards always mean different things. You'll have to see how this plays out. Libra, that was a little hard to read. You've got the five of rods with it, which is an internal struggle going on in you or a struggle with coworkers or family members or any clubs, groups, or organizations you belong to. And it is here with the Knight of Cups. If you, there is some kind of gathering I feel that you're going to go to and there's arguing that's going to go on. Now, that doesn't mean it's a holiday party. For some of you, it is. But some of you, it could be like a, at some kind of like seminar or holiday party to do with work or some kind of meeting that goes on. There's a lot of blaming going on. People feel like this one's not doing their part. This one's feeling like they're not pulling their weight either. There's like, I get blame, accusations, people not feeling like people are pulling their weight. This is all the energy coming up around the five of rods. For some of you, this might not occur until January. You may feel like uh, that so much is at odds here in that situation that you're asking yourself, why didn't I stay away? So you may have an option to not go to something. And if this is what's going to ensue, you might say, hey, okay, I was originally going to go to that, but now I don't know that I want to go there. If, you, if this rings some kind of bell in your mind of like, uh-oh, this could cause some kind of dust up, you might be better off avoiding it if you can. Some of you may feel overburdened and worried about having to take care of and look after somebody that is a Knight of Cups person. This could even be a grandchild to you, a child, a grandchild, um, or a sibling, a younger sibling, or a sibling in need. Yeah, I, I keep getting like... I get, again, my guides are telling me there's going to be people here that are going to feel like other people aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like some people are going to feel like these people aren't doing what they should do or what they're supposed to be doing. You and maybe other people are feeling like they're asking too much or they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like this is an at odds situation for some of you. It could be an internal struggle going on in you about having to help out or take care of something for or with the Knight of Cups. So keep in mind, Libra, this is just a six minute. I record this for six minutes. That's all I can give you here because I got, you know, this video goes over an hour. So this is just the update. I would highly recommend you watch the reading at the beginning of the month, which is the psychic tower reading for the month of December 2020. And when January's come up to look at that and also to watch your rising sign because your rising sign deals with more with your fate and destiny and your sun sign deals with where you have free will. So if you're watching this for your sun sign, I highly recommend you figure out your rising sign and you need your birth time for that. And, uh, Watch your rising sign so you can get a bigger picture of what's going on here. So I hope this message is of help to you. And I hope they resonated with you because this, yours I found the most tricky to read so far. And I've got a few more to go. So we'll see. So I hope this reading was of help to you. Now on to the sign of Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio, first card you have is the moon. And the moon is secrecy and deception and romance secrecy by itself, romance by itself. It could also be your own psychic ability and intuition is increasing. 
It could also indicate that something could be an illusion that you're dealing with in the month of the mid month of December. Some of you Scorpios are trying to hide your feelings about how you feel about somebody. Now that could be love. It could be love feelings you having, you're having, because this is a card that can indicate romance, but it can also be maybe there's feelings you have about somebody that aren't so positive and you don't want them to know. I feel like in mid-December, you're trying to get, get yourself together emotionally speaking. You may feel like there's something that's been lacking in your emotional life and that you want to break through this barrier or rut or um, get out of a, an emotional funk that you may have felt like you've been in or rut, emotional rut. I feel like you're concerned. You may be, have been giving into too many deep-seated fears and insecurities lately. Like the energy of, I got to get back in the game. I'm losing my edge. Or like you might not feel like you're as sharp as you were before. Sharp looking, sharp dressing, sharp physically, bodily, sharp uh, at work, mentally, like whatever sharp means for you, you may have feel, feel like you're losing your edge in some way and you want to, and that you've been kind of like getting, feeling insecure, giving into fears, and you don't want to operate from that perspective. You don't want to operate from those perspectives. And you may feel a little disenchanted because you know that you can't control how other people feel about you. Uh, and maybe you have been like cavalier before, like, oh, screw it. If they don't like me, tough. But I feel like for some of you Scorpios, you may have been feeling like it does bother you a little bit underneath the surface. There, it could be about one in particular person, or it could be about a group of people that maybe y your insecurities have kind of gotten kicked up because you, you're kind of concerned about what they think of you or how they're perceiving you, which seems out of character for Scorpio to me, but I don't want to judge that. I don't know. I'm not, I don't have any Scorpio placements, I don't think. I, maybe one. I don't, I'm not sure. So I don't really know. Um, but Hermit is your next card. And this Hermit card was damned bound and determined to show up so many times in this mid month of December. So you're one of the signs that got it. Virgo got it. Aries, Scorpio, and Pisces all got the Hermit, which is your spirit guide lighting the way, showing you the way to go, uh, protecting you. You could be the Hermit where you're taking a step back and getting a lay of the land before you proceed forward, but your spirit guides are still guiding you. And so you have the Hermit expanding the moon. Two major arcana cards here for you in the mid-month, Scorpio. Some of you Scorpios are going to start delving in deeply to esoteric subjects, which could have to do with death, birth, reincarnation, how to channel spirits or people that are channeling deceased spirits or even channeling ET energy or interdimensional being energy. You're going to find that your emotionalism has driven up your empathic side and you're going to find you're incredibly psychic now and moving forward that you're going to be able to read people quite easily and you're going to know just what makes people tick. And Scorpio is an incredibly psychic sign. So you may already be able to do that. But if you didn't feel like you could do it before, you're going to find your psychic ability your empathic side of being able to read others, it's going to be on fire. You're going to be on point. Anybody that's doing any kind of needless worrying or complaining at you or throwing that kind of energy towards you, you may disconnect from them and cut them out of your life or just downsize your dealings with them. Limit your dealings with them. 
Some of you are thinking about reinvention where you want to put out a new and a different vibe and energy than what you've been putting out before. I feel like Scorpios are like kind of doing some kind of inner work and inner transformation. And I feel that this is part of the reason why I'm picking up this emotionalism in you, insecurities, fears, emotionalism, self-analysis, caring about how others perceive or feel about you when I feel in the past you maybe didn't care about that or didn't put so much energy into it. But all this is happening because of some kind of, uh, I'm going to call it a spiritual evolution in you. And, you know, we've got some interesting planetary things getting ready to go on here, right? I mean, there's the, uh, what, the Saturn, uh, Jupiter-Saturn conjunction is coming up. And, you know, Saturn's moving into Aquarius. These things are going to affect you, as is the eclipse that we had on November, on the 30th of November, and the one we're having well, just had on the 14th of December. These things are affecting you too. So this is all part of the evolutionary process of death and rebirth of yourself and your psychic ability increasing in your empathic side. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Sagittarius. And the first card you have Sagittarius is the Emperor. And this is a paternal figure that's crossed over to the other side, watching you, guiding you, protecting you, giving you ideas and inspirations that could feel like they're yours, but they could belong actually to the emperor. This could also be a strong male figure in the living, a father, a father-in-law, a stepfather, a grandfather, a great-grandfather, a brother, could be a spouse, could be an ex. Your foundations of things in your life are turning in your favor. And you're going to start building on these foundations. Some of you Sagittarians are going to feel like you, you're putting something together that has staying pow power, lasting uh, power, staying power. I feel in some ways you're kind of learning about communications, new communication technology, or learning how to communicate better. This could even be in love relationships. Maybe you felt like, maybe you weren't the best communicator in the past. Um, or maybe that's, you're not the best, you feel like you weren't the best communicator with your boss or with your family or in some way. So communications and communications upgrades comes up here, either how you are going to do the communications yourself or you could be learning new methods of technology involving communications. You're kind of sprouting wings here, Sagittarius. In the next five years, I, I'm seeing you as a bird, a little baby bird growing and sprouting wings and flying. And my guides are telling me the next five years, that's how Sagittarius sun, moon and rising sign will be feeling. And you're going to really talk to professionals that can really help you through any trouble spots that comes up for you. So whether it's to do with your home, your living situation, your work, anything to do with technology, a business you want to start or anything, I, I just get you speaking with professionals that are going to be uh, key and helpful to you. Sagittarians, you're not going to take a back seat anymore to anything or anyone. Like if you've always had to be in the shadows or in the take a step back and you weren't the leader or you were you got overlooked for things, that's not what's going to happen next four or five years, especially five years. You're going to be stepping into the limelight, the leadership role, uh, being more front and center. <laughs> Look what card you have next. I didn't even notice that. You have six of rods. That's victory. That's victory after a battle. So I don't know, Sagittarius, you're stepping into some lucky stuff here. Some good stuff for Sagittarians. So let's see. If you put together some kind of project or computer program or some other kind of program and you have to submit it to something, it gets accepted. 
if some higher ups or something have to approve it or, you know, say, no, we're not going to do it or approve it, it gets accepted. It gets taken on. It gets promoted. But there's things that you're going to really have to spell out really, really clearly to people as you go along the way, which is interesting because they did say in the emperor card, you're going to have to like step up your communications or you're dealing with new and improved and evolved stepped up communications, technologically speaking. <laughs> I get holding the reign of power here. Some of you are going to become a boss, a manager, a supervisor a team leader. Uh, I don't know. It's coming up now. Is it going to happen in the mid month of December? For some of you, yes. For some of you, it's going to take probably until the end of March for this to occur. I see you signing contracts and negotiations. I see you doing handshakes. Uh, so, and I'm hearing my guides are saying your word is your bond. So even if you don't sign contracts, if you make a verbal agreement and shake somebody's hand, you will be honoring those agreements, even if they're not backed up by papers and documents. By the time you get to December of 2021, next, you know, we're in December of 2020. When you're in December of 2021, you're going to be sporting new stuff like I see a new car. I see new duds on you. Uh, it could even be other things like a new home, things that have intrinsic value. I see new and stepped up by the time you get to December in 2021. So things are looking up for Sagittarians. Always good to see. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. Always watch your rising sign, Sagittarius. It gives you more of a picture of what's going on. So now on to the sign of Capricorn. Hi, Capricorn. The first card you have is Seven of Rods. And this is you shutting the door on negative communication or negative energy coming at you. Keeping it at bay or closing the door on it. It can also indicate taking the moral high ground in a situation. I feel like you're going to feel like as soon as I do this, this comes up. As soon as I take care of that, that shows up. So uh, to me, for some of you Capricorns, this is like one thing after the other. Just as soon as I fi fix this, finish that, there's something else coming at me I got to deal with and take care of. I, I also get... Uh, questions coming to you. Now, from some, for some of you, it's coming from family members. For some of you, it's coming from jobs or people you work with where I'm getting, why did you do that, Capricorn? How come you did that? Well, what's this going to be? What are you going to do about that? Like, uh, why'd you make that decision? Uh, well, what are you going to do about that issue? And uh, how are you going to solve that problem? And like, I get a lot of questions. Some of these rods coming at you are people questioning either things about your life personally or decisions you've made or things that are going on in a work-related sense. And I feel like you're going to feel like nobody's minding their own business. I feel that you're going to feel that some of this is nosy busybody stuff that you don't like. I feel that you're also going to have to cherry pick and choose what you're willing to take on and what you're going to have to turn down and say no to because some of you are getting too many requests uh, or too many demands or too many requests. And you may be like, look, I can't handle all, I can't fulfill all these orders or I can't fulfill all these requests or demands. I'm going to have to cherry pick which ones I can do right now. It doesn't mean you can't do some of them later, but you may not be able to do all this stuff by January 15th. Some of you may feel like some of this is challenging to you and you could feel like for some of you, I do feel like it could be coming from family members that are, which could be spurring on <clears throat> some kind of arguments. Like I'm not saying you're going to have big fights, but it could uh, drive up some arguments. 
Even if it's at work, it could. But I feel if it's family, it could drive up arguments. So you got the Queen of Pentacles with it. That's probably you. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. So your two cards together. Queen of Pentacles and Seven of Rods. If you're a boss, I feel like you're trying to come up with ways to give people bonuses or raises, especially raises, even if it's only small. Some of you Capricorns are finding out like dribs and drabs of things that you weren't really aware of that were going on that could be coming to you from a distance that may concern you or it's just information you didn't know. So if you have relatives that live in another country or at a distance, you could be finding out like some news or information about them where somebody got sick or they're not doing well or they're, you know, and this could be elderly people. This doesn't have to be young people. Um, or if it could be if you work in a particular country or state, province, city, and from a headquarters or like the main hub of where the business operates from, especially if it's at a distance, you're going to find out some things that are going on that you weren't aware of. Like they could be downsizing, getting rid of people. They may be shutting down certain uh, divisions of the company or, you know, closing certain, uh, if there's, if it's like, a main company and then there's all these different companies here, here and here that are like uh, their satellite. They might be, s you know, selling off or closing down this satellite company over here and this satellite location over there. So I do feel that some of you are finding out information from news from afar. And honestly, I don't want to say anything negative, but I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. When I get what I get, I got to give you what I get or my guides will stop talking to me <laughs> and I want to keep giving you information. So I feel that some of this news is, it's not necessarily horrible for all of you, but some of you may feel like, I, the feeling I get is like, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, like a little disarmed and a little concerned. It doesn't mean it's going to affect you directly, but you may worry that it will. Like if you hear, if you work for a company and they're closing down satellite uh, shops or companies, you may be worried that you're going to get it next. Like you're where location you are. Or if they're downsizing and just getting rid of people because of things that have been going on out in the world, they may be getting rid of people. They may be laying people off and you may be worried that that's going to happen. Or you're, you're hearing something through the grapevine. It's at a distance. It, and if it's not that, it's somebody in your family that lives in another state, province, city, could even be in another country because I really do feel like it's at a great distance. Um, or across the, like whatever continent you're on, they're on the opposite side of the continent uh, that you're finding out that maybe they have to move, maybe they lost their job and they need to move, they're out of work, they got to move in with other family members or they're not well. So this is about communications, things you're finding out at a distance, but it doesn't mean it's going to be as bad as what you're afraid of, but it is going to drive up some, I feel like it's going to drive up some kind of worry in you, but I hope it does not because it may turn out to be fine in the long run. So I hope these messages were of help to you. Always watch your rising sign to get a more complete picture because your sun sign is dealing with like your purpose, what you came here to do, and you have a lot more free will with your sun sign to change things. Your rising sign deals more with fate and destiny and is and fated events and is not involving free will as much. So you really might want to check out your rising sign. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now on to Aquarius. Hi, Aquarius. Hey, I'm happy to see this card. It's one of my favorite minor arcana cards in the whole deck. 
you've got Ace of Swords. And Ace of Swords is victory. It can be victory because truth is revealed. It can be wisdom, knowledge. It can also indicate uh, love. Sometimes this can be love. You're finally feeling like some things are swinging in your direction. And I feel that Aquarius, you're going to be like putting the buff and polish on something. Is it you? Is it your appearance? Is it your home? Is it some work that you do or a business that you have? You're putting some kind of, you're buffing something up, you're polishing and shining something up here. Something of value comes to you now. It could be money. You could be receiving an inheritance. This could be a job or uh, a new opportunity or some kind of new endeavor could be coming in. It could be a new love relationship. This is something that's going to start revving up your fire, driving up your creative, uh, your, crea your creative side. It's going to start revving that up in you. You're going to start to feel more vibrant and driven. Now, if you don't see this happening in December, this could happen anytime between December, the middle of December and the end of March. Some of you will have a whole new position and it feels like a position of power. So if you own your own business, you could be starting another business or your business could be getting more traffic and, and recognition and you could be making more money. You could be getting a new job here. Some of you, it could be a promotion. And I feel like you're going to take every measure to secure this and also to protect it. And you're going to get taken more seriously. People are going to see you as more knowledgeable and a more prominent figure in some way. So again, if you own your own business, that's how it's going to be. Or if you're in, in your job, they're going to recognize that in you. If you work for another business or company, or if you start a new job. So or in some new endeavor. You're gonna have like more respect, more, more respectability, more recognition, more positive notoriety, that all comes up here. Now, look what comes up here. I had to laugh when I saw this. I'm an Aquarius, so I, I like these cards personally. So you got Knight of Swords. This is you, <laughs> here you go, Aquarius. Come on, run in really fast here. This is a air sign person. This is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, sun, moon, or rising sign. This could be you, but it could even be somebody else that's coming in, coming your way. And uh, there are your two cards together for the mid-month of December. You're going to feel like, this is my time. This is where I, I'm, I'm coming in and I'm going I'm to do it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to succeed. <laughs> That's what I see happening here. That's you're going to be your, your modus operandi. You're going to take everything you got and you're going to give it your all. If you get a new job, you're going to give it your all. If you get more of some kind of endeavor, new endeavor that comes your way or something to do with a business where you get uh, more opportunity to expand it or grow it or make it bigger. You're going to throw everything you got into it. This is you like charging in with your own knowledge, energy, especially your energy and your drive. This is like your drive and will. <laughs> You're going to be like, I'm not going to let anything stop me. I sat back and waited too long on the sidelines. I've been sitting around waiting for this or that, like, that time of waiting is over. Now, if something doesn't come to you, okay, like if you, if it, if it doesn't like show up magically from the universe to you, you are going to go get it either way. It comes at you or you go get it. You're going to be very driven to succeed. You, a lot of thought is going to be put into also how you can make more money. Now, I don't feel like that's going to be the overwhelming uh, reason, but I feel that, let's put it this way. This is a better way to put it. I feel that you are going to get paid more for 
your products and services or work that you do. Or you're going to have some kind of opportunity or endeavor that's new that comes in and therefore you end up making more money through that. Always watch your rising sign to get a more clear picture of what's going on because this is just a little six minute update. So I hope these messages were of help to you. Now on to the sign of Pisces. Hi, Pisces. Do you feel left out at the end? Don't feel bad. Aquarius is second to last. <laughs> so you have an interesting card. Your first card is the Hermit, which Virgo, Aries, and Scorpio also got. So the Hermit wanted to show up all over the place in these readings today. And you have it too. And this is your spirit guides lighting the way, showing you the path to go. Could be even giving you some kind of spiritual protection and guidance. You could be the hermit where you're taking a step back, getting a lay of the land before you proceed forward, but your guides will still be guiding you. You know, things are really good for you coming up soon, just around the corner. You're on the precipice of something and it's like you can kind of feel it. Some of you Pisces are going to be able to feel it. Some of you are going to be talking to government officials or agencies or some other people of power that can give you good placement. You could start working for the government in some way, a government job, a state job. Um, it could also be uh, you talking to higher ups about something that will then give you a stronger foothold in the work that you're doing or give you some kind of opportunity to expand what you're doing. Some of you could take your talents and skills on the road and get recognized. Now, I know that may sound weird when you're like, how's that going to happen? <laughs> I got to say, yeah, really? How's that going to happen? I don't know. Let's hope it does. So I, what I feel like is don't be surprised if something you're good at. What are you good at, Pisces? My two boys are Pisces. I could name, I could list several things they're really good at. Uh, you have some kind of skill or talents. When I say take it on the road, you may literally, you know, get involved in something where you're going to uh, fairs or festivals or you're traveling around to some other types of venues or you could be doing it virtually I guess it depends on what you're doing and I get like you getting acknowledged for that like really could make something of yourself for your talents and skills and if you're like I can't, come on, I'm not doing anything like that in the middle of December. Okay, well, maybe it's not going to happen for all of you in the middle of December of 2020, but it could happen for you in the next five to six months. If it, if it doesn't happen to you now, I feel it's coming. Because I feel like, I feel like Pisces, you get some kind of acknowledgement or recognition, especially if you've got some kind of really good skill or talent. And you get recognized for that. And then something good comes of it. Because look at your next card. The sun. Spotlight being on you. Success in the material world. This could also indicate joy and ch like returning to the happiness of like when you were a child. Could also be the birth of a child. Sometimes the sun can mean love. And here you have it with the good old hermit. Two major arcana cards for you. Two major arcana cards, Pisces. You're going to definitely feel good like you've captivated somebody's attention. And if it's not for your talents and skills, it could be a love partner coming in for you where you're like, hey, hey, so, hey, I've been single for a while. And uh, look, I, I captured somebody's attention. They're interested in me. Somebody that you're interested in equally. I see you really laughing it up. And telling people a lot of uh, jokes and uh, being kind of like the life of the party. You know, people gravitating towards you. Some of you are going to get really entrenched and, ent and entwined. Is that a word? Entwined? 
uh, in something that you're doing that's going to bring you success. S something you're going to do, you're going to say, that's the best decision I ever made. And it could be something simple, like you decide to go someplace that you, you know what, for you Pisces, I feel like it's almost going to be serendipity where it's not going to be necessarily some big plan you had mapped out. It's like off the fly, off the cuff, you go do something and people are like, whoa, who's Pisces over here? Pi look what Pisces is doing. Pisces is a riot. They're funny. And look what they're doing. And, you know, wow, like. I feel like your popularity is going to increase. Now, for some of you, it's going to involve a talent or a skill that you have. I'm sorry to be redundant, but that does come up here over and over again. But if it's not in that area, it's going to be socially, socially. And for some of you, it's going to be a, a new love or in love life. But for others of you, it's going to be friendships. New friends or people, you know, could be some people you know already, but you could be meeting some new people here. And they're going to be like, wow, Pisces is really awesome. They're funny. They got good talent. Yeah, we want to spend time and hang out with Pisces. I feel like, uh, especially in March, and some of you are born in March, like a chapter is turning. But it's a good chapter because look, you got the hermit in the sun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be complaining about that. So I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. And as always to all the signs of the Zodiac out there, thank you so very much for watching and please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides that you're not going to see here, you can get my Vimeo on-demand videos that I put the most recent links of the recordings I've done below the videos down here in the description box in the show more section. And those links are also on my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos page on my menu. And there, when you click on that, you'll see all the different video series I've recorded. You can read the descriptions of what divination tools I've used and how long the predictions go out in time for. And then the, the signs are listed below. You click on the zodiac sign you want and that link will take you right to Vimeo. Now, some of the most recent video series links I have posted below. Hey, guess what? It's that time of year again. Woohoo! Psychic tarot readings for the new year of 2021 for each sign of the zodiac. Let's hope that 2021 is a lot better than 2020. I'm sure we're all going to be glad to say uh, see ya to 2020. So if you want to see what I got coming up for you, for your zodiac sign, and I highly recommend watching your rising sign as well, that link is posted below this video. If you would like to get the psychic crystal readings that I do as a continuation of my psychic tarot readings at the beginning of every month, that uh, those videos, psychic crystal readings for each zodiac sign for December 2020, that link is also posted below this video. Also, we had two eclipses. We just had one, the probably the day before you're watching this video in Sagittarius, total solar eclipse in Sagittarius, and we had a full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, November 30th, 2020. If you want to see what I got for your sign or and or your rising sign for those two eclipses, those video series are posted below. So the uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, November 30th, 2020, psychic tarot, crystal and oracle card reading for each sign of the zodiac. Those predictions go out six months and then. I did a video series doing the same exact format for the solar eclipse in Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020, Psychic Tarot, Crystal, and Oracle Card Readings. That link is also posted below. They've been very popular. There's a lot of information in there, and I'm using all those different divination tools, so you might not want to miss out on that. Also, still in play, still in play in the predictions, the career and finance, Psychic Tarot, 
and crystal readings. I recorded them in May of 2020. Those predictions go all the way until November of 2021. So you might want to check that out. That link is also posted below this video. Um, if you would like to donate to this channel and help support the readings and the work I do here, I have a donation link that's connected to PayPal underneath all those video series links. And I want to say thank you so much to all of you who have been so extremely generous. And I appreciate that a lot. It's helped so much. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for your donations. If you would like to get even more psychic predictions and messages that you're not going to see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC, The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC, and on Instagram, The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell. And I use a variety of divination tools and I post those predictions are not just for the day. I write the prediction. They're for... Uh, sometimes months out, couple weeks out, and a lot of people find they resonate with them. So you might find they resonate with you. I have not been doing it lately because I've had to do these psychic tarot readings for the new year of 2021, and they took me a very long time to do. They're a lot longer than the regular videos I put on Vimeo, and I've had to decorate for Christmas, Christmas shop, and travel to a different location that I've also had to decorate and handle some things at another locations. So I will be getting back to my social media pages probably in the next couple of days. So please be sure to check out the predictions over there from my spirit guides. So I hope you have an absolutely fantastic holiday season. May you be blessed in all ways possible. I wish you Merry Christmas and whatever holiday you celebrate, I totally wish you the best and all the happiness that's possible, good health, prosperity, and abundance in all ways. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I truly appreciate it. Without you, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Have a fantastic rest of December. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.